You're listening to Innovation for Alpha, where we explore everything at the intersection of healthcare innovation and finance. Through our discussions and interviews, we keep you informed and educated about healthcare innovations, next level venture investing, and everything involving the combination of the two. Hello, everyone. Tobin Arthur with Innovation for Alpha podcast, and I'm joined by my partner, Yuri Sunandi. Yuri, it's great to have you here today. Thank you, Tobin. Glad to be with you. And we haven't done this before, but um, I thought we'd do a little discussion just to give everybody a sense of why we're building innovation for Alpha. So before we get into that, let's give everybody a sense of who you are. They hear me blathering on and on with some of the podcasts that we have in the can, but tell everybody a little bit about your background. Who is Yuri? Sure. Hello, everybody. My name is Yuri Cernande. Um, from Portland, Oregon, lived here most of uh, my career, uh, immigrated to the United States from the Philippines uh, about the age of seven and uh, moved to the Pacific Northwest, um, largely Portland, Oregon area, around my third grade. And uh, I was really fortunate to have grown up in the outdoors. So I grew up hunting, fishing, camping, rafting, uh, all the things that most kids these days would probably die of. Um, <laughs> and I've managed to survive and keep all my fingers and toes along the way. Uh, and then later on, last two years in high school, uh, experienced the farm life up in Battleground, Washington. Uh, moved in with this military family uh, and uh, learned uh, what, it, what it meant to work every day on the farm. So I've got a huge, deep appreciation for that, and I've really, the foundation of my work ethic really began there. Uh, and then uh, stumbled across a, a really uh, amazing mentor at the early age of 16 uh, by the name of uh, Chief Tom McDowell. He was the founder and creator of uh, North Country EMS. It was uh, advanced life support. Uh, uh, ambulance service in the southwest side of Mount St. Helens. And then he also co-founded two other agencies. So there was kind of a triple agency, uh, Yakult Fire District 13. And then we referred to as VRT, the Volcano Rescue Team. So uh, I, I was living on the farm, doing all these outdoor things, uh, doing search and rescue. And, and so that's sort of where my career began. And, and I got this crazy idea at 18 that I'm going to join the army. And so I became a combat medic and all the things I was doing, search and rescue and outdoors kind of parlayed into that. And <clears throat> after boot camp and uh, medic school, I went to, I got accepted to Washington State University and also into the WSU Fire Department, which was a student resident, a paid student resident program. And so a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the early, uh, training that I did. So I basically have been part of a lot of the different training cultures through the military and first responder units that I served in. And that sort of set the stage to uh, my informal training or self-training after uh, completing my bachelor's at Washington State into the tech industry. So in the tech industry proper, I've been in the tech industry for about 21 years now. And I've uh, worked in a number of different capacities from you know, the uh, electronic design automation uh, realm to supporting different industries like real estate to wind energy, a uh, little bit of fintech, uh, cybersecurity with Symantec, and then now, of course, uh, AngelMD. By the way, Battleground, I don't know if you, do you know what Schutzen is? Schutzen Dog Training? I think I have, I have heard of that. Yeah. So it's, 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 you know, kind of the training that German shepherds traditionally have been, have gone through. It's a German sport, obviously, but to determine which dogs are most qualified, but anyway, battleground, I remember battleground Washington had one of the top shoots and training programs around. So I will remember battleground. So Yuri and I share quite a, a, a few interests in common and have been friends over the years and over the last year or so, as we've been talking specifically, we were working on AngelMD, but our interests are really, if you distill it out, really about, I would say innovation, right, Yuri? I mean, it's about cutting edge. It's about, you know, we use the term alpha, which 
is ironic because Yuri has a company called Alpha Code, his development company. But the term alpha for people that aren't familiar is really about in the finance world, it's about above, above average, you know, mm -hmm. uh, average returns are average returns. You try to find alpha, which is you try to find things in excess of the average and then beta is the risk side. And so there's ironic, a lot of our things that we do revolve around this, not this notion of how do you not be average? How do you excel in technology and leadership? And so it's cut across military, which he and I, you and I both share in common, military tech, and out of the military, a lot of leadership and concepts mm -hmm. around leadership and cutting edge right. come about. Um, talk a little bit about on that. You know, you, you alluded to it a bit, but you, you spent time in the military, but post-military, you've remained in touch with that community and you've actually done some work for guys that are in that community. Just touch on that a little bit. Uh, sure. So, um, I'll, you know, anybody that's served in, in any form of a branch, you've, you've developed friendships, especially if, you know, when you go through a lot of hardship and the military is centered around putting you through hard situations. I was fortunate enough not to have been deployed. I, I kind of wish I, I remained in, but, um, I was largely assigned to, um, inf you know, mechanized infantry unit, um, and a lot of those, and, and a lot of the, the tactical community. And this is early before all the cool attachments that you see today. This, you know, when I was in, you kind of had to duct tape stuff together to make things work. But uh, so I've I've sort of uh, I've been out for, gosh, a good 19, 20 years now, but. I still keep in touch, as you know, with a lot of the guys I've served with, um, you know, uh, one of them, is, a few of them are still in special operations today. They've deployed to Iraq and some to Afghanistan. Um, so I, I still remain in good, uh, good contact with those guys. And, and, um, and some of the business ventures I've got in that space, I've, I, you know, through my practice alpha code, I advise, it is a software company, but really the 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 lead into before it gets into software development is strategic advisory which which how it which is how we started our conversation and and so i i, I typically start at the advisory level so there's a there's a company uh it, it is it's a lot more in law enforcement but uh, there's a company down in uh southern california tricell usa um uh, Charles Joe is a former LAPD SWAT guy. So I've been advising him for about a year and a half, almost two years now since his retirement. And uh, so my team is basically helping him with a lot of the branding and his go-to market strategy with e-commerce and, and merch and, and how to navigate the, the new economy you know, today post-COVID. I'm glad you brought that up, the fact that you lead with advisory and consulting because for those of you don't who don't know Yuri one of the really unique things is that he is a terrific technologist for sure but it's that ability to bridge the business strategy with technology that makes him so unique and so you're going to see that in the shows that we produce um, and I'm excited to showcase that aspect of Yuri because he will identify cutting edge and interesting tech he can evaluate it criticize it but he's also going to do so in the vein of, is this going to get you know us from here to there? Yuri, one of the things we're talking about is the innovation for Alpha isn't about you and I necessarily. We'll do some of our own shows and interviews and things of that sort. We've got uh, three shows currently focused largely on healthcare, family offices, investing, but we are expanding outwards with this media business. Uh, we just alluded to one of the branches. We're going to be covering military tech and tactical and, and first responder oriented things. Again, the focus being on innovation. What's at the cutting edge of these spaces that will help first responders in our military to more effectively do their jobs? Um, but there's other areas. You know, Why don't you talk about some of the other areas that we find interesting and where we are actively looking for hosts for those shows or co-hosts to work yep. with us on those shows? Yes, and so, uh, and thank you for the compliment, by the way, Tobin. Um, one of the things that I really enjoy is really, uh, in my advisory role, is really helping other owners and entrepreneurs. Uh, in fact, my personal mission is to build an elite force of entrepreneurs. And uh, what a great place to start with Innovation for Alpha and all things and all the healthcare startups that are running through the AngelMD network. 
but uh, one of the things that I find fascinating about what we do is connecting the dots that most, most would just kind of pass by. But uh, case in point with Tricell, he's got an amazing infrastructure down there at Route 66 Shoot Park. It's this 100-acre shoot park. And then we've got this really cool brand, Tricell USA, where, where they're doing a lot of um, law enforcement, armed forces, uh, uh, like hostage rescue, uh, CQB type training uh, that's more urban. And then I've got another customer client, uh, Pacific Echelon. Uh, they've got a really forward thinking uh, private armed security service here in Portland, Oregon, as, as many of you may or may not know, Portland's going through a number of uh, different uh, uh, challenges when it comes to security, but- It's a very polite uh, way of putting it. Yes, and, and uh, so his business, uh, you know, a lot of these uh, real estate owner, owner operators, you know, they, they've contracted them out to uh, uh, patrol his area. And so we're converging, you know, I'm converging, I've introduced these two fellows together. And they're ta in talks about how to apply some of that uh, that uh, training framework into his growing uh, enterprise. And then on the t on, on the IoT side, completely different. I've been advising this friend of mine, Dr. Jason No, for over a better part of nine ten years now, and uh, he's one of the you know four leaders and uh, thought leaders in in the smart city movement uh, in, in terms of the industrial Internet of Things. Uh, he's got a company called SD Plex, uh, based out of South Korea, and he, he's, uh, we're parlaying that, uh, that edge multi-protocol edge gateway device, uh, into the security, uh, aspect of things. And, uh, Pacific Echelon is then taking that and using it as proactive, smart surveillance. And so those are some of the really cool, um, you know, perimeter uh, security solutions that we're working with. You know, if we renamed this program, we could call it Connect the Dots, you know, because yes. that's really what you and I enjoy doing. And it's not just connecting the dots for the sake of connecting the dots. Yes, we like to introduce people to one another, but there's always a method to the madness or a purpose behind that, which is the belief that one plus one can equal three. If we put the right people together, they can be better together. In fact, you came up with the moniker for AngelMD, which is innovation is social. And I think what to me cuts across all of these different shows that we're working to, to orchestrate and produce, right. whether it's military, whether it's healthcare, whether it's sports and entertainment, energy, transportation, the, the thing that cuts across them all is, yeah, we want to entertain. We want people to find some things, some interesting things. So there's, there's an entertainment element for sure. But it's also how do we help people to get smarter, whether they're an investor and they're looking for interesting alternative investments, if they're an entrepreneur and they're looking for ways to better tell their story or for other entrepreneurs that maybe they should be partnering with. It could be a whole number of things. Those are just a couple of small examples, but it really is about connecting the dots more efficiently. Uh, we've got some fun things in store. Yuri's kind of alluded to a little bit of it, but we actually expect this not just to be a series of podcast shows, but to be a series of adventures where we're putting together programs and we're cross-pollinating our audiences to go on uh, tactical events together and, uh, and or hunting and fishing and any number of things that we'll be covering. So I'm, I'm excited about the, the shows ahead. I think the ask, Yuri, uh, from you and I to the audience is, number one, we're looking for feedback. As we produce these shows, we're looking for people to say, hey, too long, too short, try this, be great to do this. I mean, we take advice and feedback from, from the folks like Gary Vaynerchuk and others who are constantly testing new ideas, and we love that. We, wanted, we want that from our audience. And I think the other is looking for guys who say, hey, I've got this cool idea for a show on innovation in this particular area. Well, what we have is the infrastructure to help folks produce the show so they can just do what they enjoy, You know, get guests, do interviews, We'll take care of the rest in terms of producing and promoting. Absolutely, Tony. So, Yuri, let's end it there. Let's keep it short and sweet. Uh, it's Friday afternoon uh, when we're recording this, but uh, more more to come. We're going to have some fun. And, you know, again, the show's not about Yuri and I. We're just the facilitators. Uh, we're going to be pulling on some very cool guests and peppering them with questions and getting out of the way. And uh, we hope everybody enjoys. But, Yuri, thanks for jumping on and getting everybody uh, start to uh, be familiar with you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.
See you again soon for the next episode of Innovation for Alpha. Make sure to go to Innovation for Alpha for access to prior episode links, show notes, and other valuable resources. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Before making any investment decisions, please consult with a professional. This show is copyrighted by Angel Indie Media, and written permission must be granted before syndication or rebroadcasting.